That might have got a little bit nervy towards the end there, but United, with our first clean sheet since September, which is terrible, but the game itself there tonight, United 2-0 away at Burnley, who were a bunch of bullies and didn't deserve a bean from the game. But going into the last five minutes, I was worried that United were going to fold and they were going to scrape an equaliser, but they didn't. United 2-0 winners. A fantastic goal by Martial and a counter-attack by Rashford sealed the game, sealed the three points. Another two goals, two wins in a row. And in a game where United were up against a disciplined, tough, physical team, we came away with the three points. And that is what is important from that game. As you can see, this video is sponsored by OneFootball. Make sure you follow the link in the description. Head over there and look at all the post-game stats and news from the Burnley game. And one thing you'll definitely see is that Brandon Williams was man of the match in there. And I've got to start by talking about Brandon Williams because he is by far and away United's best and first choice left back. End of discussion. Luke Shaw's done so well to come back from his injury to date. But Brandon Williams offers everything that I think... You can see why Liverpool fans are so excited about Robertson and... Alexander-Arnold because how much they offer going forward and Brandon Williams there today wasn't just a great defender up against a very tough Burnley team when he went forward his crosses were pinpoint Martial and Rashford should have been in better positions to make more of those opportunities through balls over the top from Williams as well covering back when he needed to it was a sort of complete performance may have not got an assist may have not got a goal but he was a fantastic player tonight and just absolutely has to be starting. And I think there's loads of players there tonight that really showed themselves in the right light. Fred is another one. He started so many games for United in a row now and we're starting to see the sort of consistent performances from Fred that we needed from him in central midfield. And again tonight, he was excellent. Matic, I think, was tasked with pretty much doing nothing, sitting in front of the defence, so I can't really blame him too much for that. I don't think he did too much wrong, but it's Matic. And I really don't like the guy and I want him to leave in January. So maybe it's an agenda, but he's not good enough for United. Fred has shown in the last 13 games that there's probably more to come from him. Excellent performance. Martial with that goal was so clinical when we needed him to be. Because in these sorts of games all season long, we've been coming unstuck. Because we A, haven't been clinical enough. B, haven't been incisive enough in actually making the opportunities. But today we saw quick one-two football from Martial and from Rashford and from James as well, who played his socks off, got kicked left, right and centre. I thought Ben Mee could have and probably should have been sent off. Charlie Taylor went in on him as well. Despite getting kicked and kicked and kicked, he kept playing, got his assist at the end. And I think he was such a real threat. He should be happy with that performance. May not have got a goal since August, but Dan James there clearly offering something that no other United attacker can offer. Bit surprised that Mason Greenwood didn't come on. Jesse Lingard did and really didn't do much, as we can expect. But you've got to be happy because that 4-1 against Newcastle, we've seen from United so often this season, we come with a great game like that and we go and we piss down the wind. Piss in the wind, I don't even know how to say the saying. But United... <laughs> United just built on Newcastle and in a game there against Burnley where it all could have come unstuck again. But instead, we now head into 2020, one point off the top four. Bear in mind, the start of November, we were 10 points off the top four. But with City crumbling, Chelsea wobbling, Spurs, they haven't got the new manager bounce and neither have Arsenal, United can look upwards with real confidence going into 2020. And I think City should be what Solskjaer is aiming towards. We should be trying to get ahead of City this year and ending that dominance they've had over us. Liverpool, let's not talk about what's going on this year because we know what's going on. So let's not look at that. And maybe I'm getting it too excited. Probably am. Why not, eh? Not often that United win a few games in a row. And that today against Burnley, look, I, I think I'm excited because I've seen that game from so many times this season under Solskjaer and last season as well towards the end and United didn't come out with the right result but today we took the chance when we needed it in the first half that was from Martial 
And until the 65th minute, Burnley didn't even threaten our goal, but then they started to threaten. United started to sit a little bit deeper and we looked nervous. Not nervous, but it just looked like Burnley might get that equaliser. And squeaky bum time the last five, ten minutes. But then United went and got the second to kill the game. And we came away with the three points and Solskjaer will be lauded for his decisions. Ashley Young, I think, starting ahead of Aaron Wan-Bissaka was the right call. It was too physical a game, I think, for Wan-Bissaka. That would have been the reason why he didn't start. Paul Pogba was left out of the squad despite coming back. And that was because he was brought back quickly last time and suffered a recurrence of his injury. That's not going to be what Solskjaer does this time. And clearly, when you win like that, it was the right decision. It was a risky decision, but it paid off. And United now, one point off top four. Six goals in our last two games. Rashford keeps scoring goals. He's on for 30 goals this season. Martial is scoring goals. And so is Greenwood when he comes on. And we didn't even use Greenwood in that game against Burnley. But 2-0, a massive win, a massive clean sheet. Finally, United keep the clean sheet. That's so important. And United need to build on that. It's Arsenal next. Beat them away. Maybe we'll be at the top four going into the start of 2020. That will be a decent way to start the year. Who is your man of the match for me? Outstandingly, easily, Brandon Williams. But who was yours? Let me know in the comments. And as I said, make sure you follow the link in the description and download the One Football app. And if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. Two wins in a row. It's a decent Christmas present. I'll take that.